So we've already looked at one or two problems involving decimals. Uh, decimals come back up again in some of the problems uh, in this section as well. Uh, your textbook will recommend getting rid of the decimals by multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, depending on how many decimal places you have. Uh, but we can actually, as long as we're able to handle uh, a fraction with a decimal in it, then we can just work with decimals and also use technology that we have at our disposal uh, to work problems out. So here uh, we just have a variable term and a number term so we want to get the variable term by itself so we go ahead and just say hey uh, let's move that number 4.8 over to the other side and when we do that we're left with just 3.7x equals 25.8 equals 25.8 and so at that point we divide both sides by 3.7 and now we have a fraction that involves decimals well you might recall that the way we handle this the way that we handle this type of problem is by just moving the decimal point until you no longer have any fractions in this case they both have one decimal place so we would just move both top and bottom by one decimal place now we get us down to 258 over 37 258 over 37 and then if we could go any further with that we would go ahead uh, and simplify but in this case that's all that we can do in this case that's all that we can do we've simplified as far as we can go so x is equal to 258 over 37 now in this second example we have decimals as well except it's a little bit more complicated a little bit more complicated 0.28x plus 0.1 times 6 minus x equals 1.2 so first we have some multiplication here so we're going to have to distribute that point 0.1 through to each piece and so we go ahead and we do that we get our point 0.2x and then we're going to have plus point 0.1 times 6 will be point 0.6 point 0.1 times x will be minus point 0.1x equals 1.2 and then we look to combine like terms and in this case we have our 0.28 and our 0.1 that we need to deal with so we go ahead and combine those 0.28 minus 0.1x will be 0.18x uh, 0.6 doesn't have anything to combine with equals 1.2 on the other side and then we just continue solving this problem we want the variable on the one side by itself, so we subtract off the point 0.6. Uh, and then we work out the arithmetic. So 1.2 minus 6, point 0.6 is just going to be point 0.6. So we get 0.18x equals point 0.6. So then we divide both sides by our point 0.18. And now once again we have this decimal fraction decimals inside of a fraction so we need to make them go away here the top has one decimal place the bottom has two so we're going to have to move both of them two places to make them go away because you got to do the same number of places in the top and bottom so since we need two to get rid of the decimal point in the bottom uh, we do the same thing in the top and now at that point we have x equals 60 divided by 18 60 divided by 18 and then we just simplify that fraction turns out you can take a 6 out of both 6 out of 60 goes 10 times 6 out of 18 goes 3 times and we get our final answer x equals 10 thirds so as long as you remember this little trick here of how to handle decimals uh, inside of a fraction to simplify it uh, then you're good just working with decimals you don't have to get rid of them or anything like that